Good morning everyone. So I live in the city of London, a city with so much to do, and yet I always travel outside of it. I don't really make many videos focusing on this great city in which I live. Today, I'm taking you all to Kew Gardens. Though London has a lot of beautiful parks to go to, Kew Gardens is one of the most beautiful. In fact, it is the only park, as far as I recall, that costs money to go into, but it is incredibly well-preserved, maintained, landscape. For the next month or two, Kew Gardens is having a big exhibit from my favorite glass artist, Dale Shuley. I can't pronounce it correctly, but I, I'm a big fan of him, saw a lot of his stuff when I was in Seattle. And so, today, I'm going to Kew Gardens with some of my friends, and let's just see what it's like. If you've never been to Kew Gardens, I highly recommend. There's this really adorable restaurant literally attached to the station here. I've been here a couple times in the past. It's just an adorable little place to stop and have a pint before you go on your journey, or at the end of your day. The train now approaching platform one is the London Underground. You said it for Q? Yes. So a ticket for Q Gardens primarily costs about 20 pounds, unless you're a student, then it's only 10. Pretty good discount. They also have a thing where if you're a friend of Q, it's like a membership for a year, it costs 70. It's a bit pricey, but if you end up going more than three times, it works out in your favor. Plus you get a free guest, so you can bring a guest with you every time, and you just have to go twice, and then it works out. Come on, so Dodie, that is her plants. No, they're glass. <laughs> Look how bright and vibrant these are. And then behind us, a big pagoda. This is a very complicated sundial. It's a plus sign, because you have to add things. What time is it? Oh, I wanted you to use the... No, come on! <laughs> you know the answer now. It's about 11.30. Now we've made it to another glass exhibit. This big, bright boy. He looks like a peacock. It's a rainforest. <laughs> Anytime you try and vlog in there, it just fogs the entire camera up. Didn't want to break it necessarily, but got some nice little portrait shots of the iPhone regardless. Out here we have even more. Glass. It looks like something out of Dr. Seuss. So here we are at Kew Gardens. The plants are very cute. <laughs> it's a sunny day. Come when it's... Also the tulips are in bloom. Can you believe it? Only once per year. <laughs> The tulips are in bloom. <laughs> Can you believe it? Hi, Cedars and sequoias. This guy. I haven't vlogged in a while. What is up, everybody? Yeah. Smash that like button. We, we get 10,000 likes. I'll eat. <laughs> You'll eat? Please let her eat. <laughs> One of the nice things you can do when you come to Kew Gardens is to just- This is Evan from the future. What a lovely picnic. The wind was so strong, you really couldn't hear anything. I fixed it for all future issues, but hey, what a nice picnic. Sophia and Stevens on a speaker. And we got some carrots and hummus. This looks like something in Great British Bake Off, right? That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. It's the Bake Off tent. <laughs> well, you guys are really good at opening doors. Found a side entrance, it's okay. I think that door wasn't open. I'm gonna try and open it from here. Oh no, it's locked in the ground. All right. So we've now made it to the temperate house. This one luckily is nowhere near as sweaty as the last one. I can film in it. Lighting's beautiful. And there's 11 different Chihuly glass exhibits here. It's Dodi at Starbucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Magenta Lily Pilly. Lily Pilly. Hey, pick you up. <laughs> These leaves are so soft. It's like a fabric. <laughs> Beautiful blooms. Wow. Make a wish. Cherry blossoms are all blooming and out. So after exploring a bit of the two houses, the cherry blossoms, we're now going to go find the redwoods in the cedar grove path. The cool thing about Kew is you can literally just explore anywhere. It's just like, just a giant park. There's so many places to see. We've now made it to the cedar area full of je ne sais <laughs> Big old sequoia. Not quite as big if you're used to Californians, but still, these are some nice redwoods. This one specifically is the Sequoia Dendron Giganteum, the giant redwood. And look how big he is. 
This is the Ooh. biggest sequoia they have. It is a big boy. You've just killed the tree. <laughs> if you do plan on coming to Kew Gardens, be sure to give yourself a lot of time. This place is really, really big. You'll want to stop at loads of different places. In fact, we've been here for about three hours now, and we've only seen, I'd say, about a quarter of the park. Places we still haven't seen on my big map here are the Rhododendron Dell, the Bluebell area, the Magnolia area, the Bamboo area, and there's a whole little cute restaurant near a lake. There's a lot to do in Kew Gardens. That's where we're leaving Kew Gardens. What a lovely, lovely, lovely time. 100% recommend, especially during spring when everything is blooming. Well guys, we are now back at Kew Gardens. Dodie has had a bit of a change. I'm now with a doctor. What's yeah. Dr. Sally Page. Hello. Uh, what's your doctorate in? Uh, evolutionary biology. So it's now gonna be very important. She can teach us a lot of fun things about Kew. It's so much to do in one day that I came back with another friend to the pagoda. Yay. I wonder what you can do in this. Oh, and there's a plane. If you've ever been to Q before, it's just planes. Lots of planes. Too many stairs. How many stairs? Actually, 253 stairs. What? Today was leg day at the gym for me, so this is quite heck for me. Describe what you're seeing. Is it worth it? It's nice. It wasn't that many steps up. No, it's I mean, it was 253. It wow, look at that. What a, what a pretty building. That's part of Q. Mm -hmm. And then we have the six buildings back there. Looks like something out of Game of Thrones. I'm trying to be relevant. I don't watch the show. Oh, sweet. Just a little bit too tall for this place. This park gets really bad. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to walk down the stairs, you see? Cinematography that. <laughs> These ones look like planets. They do look like planets. That one looks like a big tomato. 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 We are standing in the middle of a giant redwood. Hi. I'm on the edge. As you can hear, there's another plane. <laughs> look right there. But we're at the edge of a huge redwood. Look at this guy. Average. This is an average redwood. Let me see, how many paces we got? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hello. Wow, that's a lot of bluebells. Not many. That's a lot of bluebells. And you can tell the difference between English and Spanish because English had the bells pointing all the way around the stem. Oh. Spanish, all of them point to one side. So would you say you're more of an English bluebell? I am more of an English bluebell. <laughs> when the HMRC calls up in April and you're like, I gotta pay my tax, okay? Ta tax, okay? Uh. AC. Okay. Welcome to the Badger set. Wow, this is not made for someone of my height. <laughs> you know what? You have a fun time in there. This is great. Yeah, you... Oh my god, there's so many different rooms. You know what? I am gonna trust you. Come on in, it's lovely. Ma no. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on the top. Oh, uh, this right here is some wild garlic, except it's not quite wild because it's grown at Kew. It smells just like garlic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so you see my favorite type of duck. She likes mandarin ducks. I do male mandarin ducks only, though. Sorry. It's a bit gender ducks. specific, but that's. Look at me, he's so pretty. He is very pretty. Look at him. We've now made it to the depths of the bamboo forest. They have a huge amount of bamboo. It's so cool, there's like little trails you can walk through. Every time I think, you know what, I think we finished Kew Gardens, we've seen it all. There's just a giant rock garden with a pond. Okay, how have I never been to this part before? It, it, it they grow rocks. Wow, and, and a beautiful looking pond. Oh my gosh, those are like uh, Venus flytraps, right? They are pictures, not Venus flytraps, but, but they're yeah, like they them. are they, also they, and they also thrive in low nitrogen soils. Yeah. What have you found there, Sally? I found an oak apple. So oh. a, a tiny little wasp has laid an egg inside, just underneath the twig. And the oak's like, oh my god, there's this egg growing inside of me. And so it's produced this swelling to try and protect itself. And different species of wasp, you get a different shaped oak apples. Oh. Can we, can we eat it? Uh, no, it's basically made of wood. It's made of uh. wood. We used to use oak apples to make uh, black ink. So a lot of the laws in Britain are written using oak wasp apple, babies. Or, or wasp babies. Well, that about does it for our vlog from Q. Mm -hmm. If you're in London, visit Q. It's a cute time. Uh, if you want to check out Sally or Dodie or Hannah's channels, link in the description. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next adventure. Goodbye. Bye.